What's up, Responsible Day Traders? Today is Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. I am Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. In the uh, mindset of being responsible, I'm going to share with you today that I had a losing day. I actually wasn't planning on putting this video out because I wasn't going to trade. Uh, I was just watching it. It was awful, but I think I just let my sitting there for too long get in the way and I traded anyways even when it was telling me that it's not a good idea right now and I was definitely had shorts on my mind I could not see anything else but I mean I did see plenty of trades that I did not take you'll see those in the vault um it's about an hour and a half I mean this is probably like this is probably like two hours of me trading so you'll see those in the vault um, if you want to see me talking about the trades and why I didn't take them. And a lot of them I didn't take because it made my risk so huge on the trade that if I took it, I was going to get my booty handed to me. And I just didn't need that, right? But long story short, you get to see me <laughs> have a losing day and how I handle it. So I had five trades, I had three losers and two winners, and I came out with just a little bit below um, zero, so negative $200. I mean, I'm just going to chalk it up to the game. It's all right. It's no big deal. So, you know, guys, we do have a special coming up next month on the vault, so if you are um, excited about watching this entire video and all of the other videos that I've put out seeing the entire thing you can go check out the vault see what I'm thinking throughout the day and sometimes it's a little crazy sometimes I sing to you sometimes we just laugh <laughs> today was a lot of what are you doing Lindsay oh my gosh I reached my three losses in a row I give myself one more and then I'm done and that was enough to bring me back from a fairly large loss but you get to hear about all that stuff you get to hear it all bit by bit and see the process that's going on through this crazy little brain while I'm trading so all right guys we're gonna go ahead and wrap that up I hope that you enjoy the show all right, good morning, everybody. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna trade much today. I've kind of been watching it a little bit while I was working in my bedroom office, but um, I just kind of have been a hard time getting my mind around taking anything. Mainly because when these bars do take off, they are so, and they're hard to grab. Um, I did trade a little bit yesterday. Where was it? Get my arrows on. There we go. Uh, I was in that trade for like one minute, a little bit under, and 20, 30, 40, four points. And then I traded, where was it? There we go. A little bit like right after market opened again that next day. Um, and like really quickly, I, I just basically set my stop at a point and it came back and got me. I don't know how I got a point and a quarter on that. That's nice. Just realized that because um, all my stops were set at the same space. So not really sure, but that's all right. No, I'm, I'm not going to complain. And then you can see yesterday I had to leave the house right about 930. So I was like, well, let me just check it out for a minute. And literally it was under a minute. I started at 9.08, 10 seconds, and I was out at 9.09 and one second. Um, yeah. And so that was the 23rd and the 24th. But let's see what's going on for today. I'm gonna pull down the daily chart. I mean, this is beautiful. Look at the way that this just came right down. I mean, just like, couple of points from that 4200 area now do I think it still could it's hard to say um, you know a lot of times these will take some time to turn around 
we have this huge reversal bar after a big move to the downside uh, at an anticipated area, right? But that doesn't mean that it will hold forever. We still have a lot of strength coming down in these MACDs. They're starting to turn light, but we really need to see them start to bunch up. And even if they do start to bunch up, maybe they do something uh, like back here. You know, where they bunch up here just a little bit and they move a lot further to the downside. Now, if we were to see something like a V pivot and come back up, it's definitely not time to get in yet. You know, if you're a long-term trader, it's not time to get in yet because you want to see definitely a real slowdown in that activity and real, real, real reason to change. And that's it right there. Once you get outside, you pull back into the Bollinger Bands, it rolls, it pulls away. That's when it's saying, hey, I've got a lot of room to run to that next area. And makes that fairly strong V pivot. So maybe we'll see something like that again, but I wouldn't anticipate it to happen right now. Now, can we take, um, can we take trades going against that on our smaller charts? I mean, absolutely, we can. We just want to make sure we're in the right mindset and prepared for if it does start to slow down, right? Oh. oh, I tried to move it down real quick too. That's why I moved to four contracts. Let me try this again in a moment. Tiny little bar told me not to try it, <clears throat> but I think I've gotten waited too long. My mind is not in the right place. So I was like, oh, let me just give it a quick shot. Just a quickie. And we see what happened with that. It is just so ugly. You know, normally I would take another trade and get right back in. But I realized that a lot of that trade was just because of impatience. I mean, I see the longs, but my brain can't stop saying short. for it right here. Two extra. Okay. Okay. I've attempted three times. I'm giving. There was a very good reason that I put this at four contracts instead of eight, and you can see why right now. It's trying to break through that top. Okay. It's been a struggle for me today, so let's look at it. to stop uh, so let's go to today just today the 25th 
So I had uh, one, two, three. Ooh, that was a big one. Uh, three losing trades in a row. And then I took on two winning trades, which got me close to break even again, but that has me $200 down. So, um, I mean, for taking five trades and being down 27 points and then coming back to negative four, not a bad day. So let's mark these up really quick and then I got to move on. I guess I'm just gonna have to go with a losing day because my time is limited. I feel as though I'm trying to force these. Um, <laughs> I do still believe this is going down. <laughs> I don't know if my mind is just stuck in a time warp for the moment. Well, <sighs> I've spent a lot more time with this market than I normally would have. I had a little extra time on my hands today, so I thought I would. <laughs> that was the plan. But I didn't expect the market to look like this, which made it very difficult to trade. I am really glad I moved down to the four contracts instead of eight, though. That would have been a little frustrating and tough. Just mind, just mind-wise. Okay. I'm not doing any more. Uh, so that will be... Wait, I left out a trade. I left out a trade. I left out one positive trade. <laughs> Uh, plus three points. Yeah, right there. All right, it's been a while since I had to put one of these out, but you know, it is what it is. Not the end of the world. I got a meeting in seven minutes. So as we can tell, that was probably not my favorite day. Um, just couldn't get my mind wrapped around things. I was really trying, but when it moves like this, it's better for me to just stay out. I don't know why I even gave it a try. Um, you know, it's minus 400 or minus 200 um, plus commissions. So it's gonna be a little more than 200. But, you know, it's okay. I'm not concerned with it. I do pretty well on a regular basis. So a day that I lose $200, it's looked to me as responsible and managed properly. Good I've gotten out of that and uh, saved it just a little bit. Yes. Did I choose not to? Also, yes. But that's okay. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at myself. None of that. No, I, I'll just look at it as it was my turn to contribute. And there I did it. <laughs> I hope everybody has a wonderful Tuesday. It's going to be probably a crazy week. Tomorrow's a lot of news. I thought I was going to trade tomorrow. I probably will wait till Friday. Uh, I won't be around Thursday. So if this kind of settles down by Friday, I'll trade then. But otherwise... I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, I'm, I've got some things I can take care of tomorrow. We're going to go there. We're going to go there instead. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. I hope your day went way better than mine. And as always, you know that I look forward to catching you on the profitable side.